This is the JR Wisdom Channel. I appreciate you guys tuning in once again. Today I'm going to be discussing a topic or actually revisit it based upon a request from one of my subscribers. This is in reference to women being cold fish. When I say cold fish, this can mean in bed, but this can also mean outside of bed. So, and I think they correlate as well. So, I'm not trying to beat anyone up, but this gentleman asked me to cover it and touch on it again. So I figured I'd bring it back because the video was quite interesting and I got some good feedback as well. So with that being said, let's jump into it. So in reference to this, the first thing I want to address, which is like the worst kept secret ever. And if you don't know, I'm going to let you in on the secret. Men are sexual creatures. Women are too, but men are very sexual creatures creatures and the nature of men is extremely high and if you're a woman and you don't realize this or you're like my goodness how where did this come from why is this guy so sexual then there's an issue and maybe you might not need to be with a man that has a high sexual appetite in that in that manner you may be dealing with a man who really is good with you know holidays you know, vacation, so on and so forth, things like that. But if you're dealing with a warm-blooded male, then you will come to the realization that he has a strong nature, first of all. So women, we understand that women are sexual creatures, but with women, a lot of what comes about, or as far as her being sexually stimulated, has a lot to do with what, come, what occurs outside of the bedroom which obviously a lot of this, just a small part of it happens in the bedroom as far as her being stimulated, but most of it is outside. Men, not so much. Men are usually ready to go, but the thing is many women who are maybe in relationships for a substantial amount of time may have given up, or many women who just believe that their looks are enough and they can just stay there for lack of a better term, and just lay there like a cold, dead fish, it's not going to cut it. I I used an analogy in the other video, which I'll link if you stick around long enough, that it's similar to ladies when you're when you're conversing with your guy and you have something serious you want to talk to him about, and he may be playing video games, he may be chatting with his friends, he may be on his phone, on his iPad, just you know, doing whatever, and he's really not paying attention to you. And if you understand women, you know that women have to talk out their problems. They have to talk out their issues until they feel like they've been listened to and heard. And that lifts an entire weight off of, you know, whatever she's got going on. So for a man to you, for you to be basic, for a man to basically push that to the side, doesn't that do something to you? That's like the worst thing ever. And I know it's one of the things that you complain to your girlfriends about. So let's reverse that as far as the bedroom goes. And your guy, you with your guy, he's trying to be intimate with you. And you're basically just like, I'm here, this is a chore. I'm the prize, I'm laying here. It's, you know, do your thing, hurry up and get this over with. How do you think that makes a man feel? The same way it makes you feel when he's not paying any attention to you. It's just like he's there. It's a complete turn off. It's that dead fish concept that I'm talking about where basically it can kill the man's whole passion, his whole desire and things like that. It takes two. Don't get me wrong because this isn't a blame video, but it takes two. But a lot of times it, I just feel like some women and from comments I've gotten, some women just think that they just don't have to do anything. And this is one of the ways where dudes get side chicks. They step out and they chase other women or and they end up leaving relationships because they're getting this feeling on the outside that they're not getting with their significant other, their women. And this sometimes men end up on medication, you know, taking all the, you know, the blue pill and whatever color the other pill is, you know, I wouldn't know. But uh, they end up on medication because of, they feel that something is biologically wrong with them when basically they're being turned off. But if they simply end up with another woman somehow, they realize that 
nothing is really biologically wrong with them and they really don't need medication in that aspect to help supplement or you know put them in that the mood the libido the libido excuse me the libido is low they have no desire the mojo is gone and they basically feel like they're washed up no no man wants to feel washed up i know you women you definitely don't want to feel washed up you want to be or feel beautiful forever you want to feel wanted forever men are the same way in the bedroom when when you're in the bedroom with a man trust and believe maybe for you you'll feel this way but definitely for a man that's when one of the most vulnerable points he can be he wants to be intimate he wants to know that you're into it and what better way to do that than to give yourself in that manner and if you feel and i'm going to go over some things here shortly but if you feel like it really is a task and you're not enjoying it then you need to let that be known it's it, it just it just can't be something that just goes on and i'm we're not going to say anything and it's just like on you're you're not enjoying it on your end or you may be faking it and he isn't enjoying it as much as he should both parties should be feeling electric you should you should definitely feel electric but for him to be to to rise to that occasion and you know be the best that he can be so to speak for lack of better term terms is is just to get that feeling and you you notice that men tend to do more the the better his bedroom relationship or lifestyle is men who are who have a strong sexual appetite or men who are sexually satisfied don't have time to cheat don't have time to step out don't have time to seek other women to fulfill what's not happening at home now i understand there's health reasons and all that but we're just talking about it in general you may have some 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 dudes with some some crazy desires that you may feel like you know physically you can't do or you know morally you won't do but it, communication is key and if this isn't something that can happen that can happen at least you know you can compromise to meet halfway on things like that so that's that's one of the things that I feel when we when we look at this whole process you hear that analogy of a dead battery can't jump another dead battery which is true but sometimes a normal functioning battery has a hard time jumping a dead battery also you know for those of you who've ever had to go through that or trying to jump a battery a dead battery it's sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do so this is it just makes the whole the whole relationship better the whole situation better it's about that that interest and that desire keeping that 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 flame stoked it it trans for a man i believe it directly correlates and translates over into the day-to-day -day relationship and being the best that he can be in that aspect instead of just watching this part of his life wither away in in that aspect um and definitely we don't want and this is one of the biggest complaints is the side chick coming in and taking over and eventually end up leaving and this is what occurs not to say that it's right because all this boils down to insecurity like i constantly say in my other videos it just it leads to insecurity which the guy should just end it if he can't communicate well some some guys and some women just they just don't know how to communicate with each other they, they may find it embarrassing or don't just don't want to bring the topic up and it just we're going to continue this is going to occur we're going to keep the repetition i'm not going to tell you what i like you're not going to tell me what you like this is just uh, a task you know you you get to where you need to be at potentially you get to where you need to be at potentially and we just meet here again at five at 8 p.m tomorrow night it shouldn't be like that it shouldn't there there's been many marriages and many relationships that have ended or because of because of things like this you have you have to be enjoying it if you engage in it because it is expected and you're not enjoying it there's an issue the quality of a man's sex life you know that correlates to any correlates to his time that he spends outside 
or with other parties or even thinking about being with another woman. I can't, I can't harp on that enough. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of ladies, and I'm just going to just put this out here. Obviously women as well as men, but you, you ladies, you have intimate conversations with your girlfriends, family members, things like that. And you take their opinion on what should and should should and shouldn't happen when you should be listening to your man or your significant other in this in this matter. You should be listening to him. It's you is your both of your relationships. It's not their relationship on the outside. It's y'all two relationship. So what they do, they may say, I'm not about to do that. You know, girl, if I was you, I wouldn't do that. Who does he think he is? And that that's you listening to that and you think it's the right thing, but it's not. It's not. It's definitely not. Because what do they have to do with your household? And this is where a lot of the bad advice that women get is from their friends instead of listening to their man with, with the concerns in terms of that. And this is where a lot of times when you have women who fall into the dysfunction of weaponizing sex, it's like one of the worst things you can do are using it as leverage and men feeling that they have to compete and do extraordinary things to reach this. Otherwise they will be punished or be withheld from sex or being intimate with the, with the woman that they're with, which is just weird to me. And why some people would put up with that, I don't know. So don't fall for that type of dysfunction because it's going to lead to infidelity and turning the dude off. So with that being said, you know, a few things that I just like to mention that I might not have mentioned on my previous video, as far as things to move smoother or move along smoother, if you haven't tried is don't be as a, as a, as a woman, even though you're saying as a, you're taught, maybe taught to be a certain way, don't be afraid to initiate in the bedroom. Don't be afraid to initiate at all. Don't be afraid to try something new. You know what I mean? Don't be afraid to try something new. Communicate with your guy. Ask him what he likes. Tell him what you want and what you like instead of just hoping that he figures it out, which women women tend to communicate in innuendo and men tend to be direct but even sometimes sexually, some men speak in innuendo instead of being aggressive and telling a woman exactly what it is that you want. You know what I mean? So when it comes to things like this, unless it's, you know, the innuendo is, is explicitly understood, you need to tell your, your, your partner what it is that he wants or, you know, you, you tell him what you want also. Or not tell him what he wants, but ask him what he wants and... You tell him what you want, if that makes sense, what I just said. <laughs> uh, if you can't communicate with your significant other, if you can't communicate with your with your guy about things sexually of a sexual nature, then there's definitely, you know, some issues that need to be addressed through counseling, therapy or whatever, because you guys should be able to talk about anything in terms of this, because this is one of the most vulnerable things you can do or acts you can do in terms of this. And also, don't be afraid to talk. When I say talk, when you're in the bedroom and you guys are, you know, doing your thing, don't be afraid to talk. You know, converse back and forth. You know what I'm saying? We, we talk about talking about the news, talking about the kids or whatever. I'm not saying that. But don't be afraid to be, don't be afraid to talk. Be aggressive. If you're not already aggressive, be more aggressive. You know, you never know. And you never know if you if what you do like until and I, I don't want to take that too far left because some of y'all may take that too far left. But I mean, in terms of you and your partner, you never know, you know, what you like. Don't be afraid to be aggressive with certain things. You know what I mean? Don't turn it into a chore. Don't make it seem like, oh, man, well, I got to do this. Why well, I got to do this? Blah, 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 blah. That's an instant turn off. Instantly. Please believe it. Be spontaneous. Be spontaneous. It doesn't have to, and this could be like this goes hand in hand with uh, initiating. Be spontaneous. It doesn't have to be the same old, same old. You know, not not you know, you know what I mean. It doesn't have to be the same old, same old thing. You know, it doesn't have to be the same old, same old place. It, just be spontaneous. You know, around the house, 
as long as you don't have kids or whatnot, you know, around the house, just be spontaneous. And most of all, the last thing I just want to say is enjoy it. Have fun. You know, be like, be, be like, for lack of a better term, be like in your younger days. Be like you're, you, you, you guys just got together. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's not difficult. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just about communication. So with that being said, I just wanted to speak on this uh, based off of my subscriber ass and I want to address this again for those of you who may not have seen that video and just bring, you know, an updated version of it. Don't be afraid to talk to your partner about what it is that you desire. That's the most fundamental part of a relationship and making it last, especially in terms of, you know, in the bedroom and things like that. So with that being said, if you guys like the video, you know, I invite you to give it a thumbs up. I also invite you to subscribe. If you already haven't, gently hit that subscribe button along with the bell. That way you receive all the notifications as well. Feel free to check out the videos that will be popping up here now or here shortly to learn more about this topic and other videos that I've seen. Feel free to click on them. I encourage you to. So with that being said, remember anything lost can be found again except the time wasted. Peace be upon you in the mercy and blessings of the Almighty. And I will catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.